Welcome back to the Davy Brown 990 restoration. My name's Barry. Well, weather report. It's a lovely sunny day, but by God, it's blown a gale, making a lot of noise. I don't know what it's going to come across on the audio like, but we'll try. Today, we're going to take the pipework out of that axle, probably take a little few bits and pieces off it as well. We'll just see. We'll see how far we'll get on. Let's crack on. Right, first things first. Take these four bolts out of here, take the connector off, take the O-rings off and the locking plate that's under here and we'll push the pipes out. Try not to lose any of our gear. Let's get one bags to put my bolts in. Didn't bring me little hammer, did I? A little soft face one. Right, there's something. Still got a hold of that. I think we'll have these two out. There's me big pry bar. hasn't got a hold of anything which I didn't think it did I don't think that other one has either I think these are just bleed screws they're not, uh, they're not attaching anything No, I didn't think there were. So there's only there's only the pipework under that that can have a hold of it, the O-rings. That's all it can be. Hey what? Got a good hole, that's for sure. Ah, they're definitely not wrong with them all rings. There we go. That doesn't look like it's had any oil through it for a while. These ones have been pushing oil through. Right. What do we need? Phillips screwdriver. Take the lock and plate out. Yeah, that's tight. Oh. I 
bit of a bump. Let's see if we'll slacken off a bit. No, they're not. So I had to drill that screw out. That one came out. That one had to get drilled out. Didn't want to come out at all. Didn't want to play games. So I'll just tap the clip out the way. Uh, O-ring pick. I'll just flick the O-rings off the top of there. Put them away. As I say, I don't know what the audio is like today. There's no ring away. That doesn't matter. It's gonna get replaced anyway. I just didn't want to leave stuff lying on the floor um, because I've got the microphone inside me jumper today. So hopefully, right, one pipe out. Put that into me draining tray. That's the centre pipe. Right, we'll loosen this connection here. We'll take that pipe out of there. Put that into one drain pan. One's this. This is getting caught on the diff lock actuator. We might have to try and get diff lock actuator out this is some of the damaged pipe work in here this is the oil spray bar for the gearbox and that is an oil feed that goes into the back. Try and keep the rest of it because we we'll, we'll want it all. Now can we get the little manifold block out? the front. Oh, right here. It's amazing what you find in the bottom of this diff. Put that in a separate bag for the minute. So we can get it cleaned up and find out what it is. Because God knows what it is. Try and find a way to get that diff lock out of there. I can't really go anywhere because there's a kiwi on it as well. There's a key in here. 
that attaches the arm to the shaft. Right. I'm going to get that pipe out and I'll bring his back once I've got the pipe out. Isn't it funny how some days you cannot make any progress at all and other days you turn up and after about 20 minutes you've got it. Uh, right, I'm at the back, or back here at the axle. So that will show you what we've managed to get done today. So we've got knocked out the actuator for the def lock. Getting the pipework took out of the axle today. That wasn't so bad. Now the other day there was a circlip on the back of there. For some reason today, unless it's jumped off my while we're busy. But if we look in here, I'll quickly show you this. This is what I was on about the other day. One, two, three, four. Four lumps of the cast knocked out. As I say, it could be somebody's just putting too long a bolt in there. Now, somebody might have just put the wrong bolts in too long, screwed them up tight, and the burst of castings open. It's a possibility. I haven't said that. The way this tractor is, it's. You never know, do you? You never know. Eventually, we've got the diff lock actuator out. We've had to file the end off many heat cycles. Had to use a little chisel, and I hate using chisels, but I had to use a chisel to remove the key. Everything was absolutely solid, so I could punch that back into the axle casing. But just wants it good clean up. That's the actual actuator itself. Circlip off the back went missing during the extraction operation. God knows where it went. And eventually pipe with the manifold came out. So that's my job done. What we need to do now with the axle, we what we need to do now with the axle, the seal carriers are going to come out. I'm going to keep those, and the brakes are going to come off. The brakes themselves are finished. the The rivets are up. But the carriers might be useful because we can reline the carriers. Um, so that's the next job. But hopefully, we might have that done before I release the video. I might just release the video the way it is um, and do a separate little video, pull the carriers out because we've got to make a tool to pull the carrier out. So we'll, I think that's what we'll do. I think we'll release the, the video of the axle. Then I'll do a video of measuring, making the tool and pulling the, the seal carriers. So, I pulled this out the bottom of the diff. I wasn't sure what it was because it was covered in muck and oil and I've just given it a quick wipe there. And it is the bottom of a gear stick. Which just shows you, that snapped off, how hard a life this little tractor has had. What's left in the bag here? <coughs> These are bits of bearing in here. And I mean, any, you know, there, that's a roller off a bearing. But bearings fail, don't they? You cannot, you, you know, you cannot do anything about bearings failing. But it's like, really? You've lent on a gear stick so much, you've snapped the bottom off it. Do you not think it's time to take the lid off and have a look if you need to lean on a gear stick that much that you snap the bottom off the gear stick? Right, that's my axle done then, isn't it? Eventually, all stripped out. It's getting a bit of shade here. 
that's all stripped out, all the pipe work out. The actuating arm for the diff lock out. We'll get it cleaned up now, put my gear away and get sorted out. Well, thank you very much for joining us on this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Um, I don't know which one's going to be first out. This one or the valve chest, which is both videos are both half and half at the minute. But we'll get them done. We'll get them put up there for you to watch. Don't forget, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, helps us tremendously. Doesn't cost you a penny. And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye now.